now we're gonna actually start getting into symphony and the first thing we're gonna talk about is the controller now i'm not gonna talk about uh, we're gonna do some twig stuff so we're gonna create a twig file and we're gonna render some some other pages but the main so this video is mainly dedicated to controllers so we're gonna discover some stuff we're gonna see what the, what a controller is uh, what lives inside it and how you can do some stuff with it so without any further ado let's get into some stuff the first thing you're gonna see is this controller is just a PHP file so it lives inside this namespace which is, which is the app controller so the controls this is just this control folder right here and we have a couple of view statements so as I said oriented object programming is a must so if you don't know PHP and its oriented object stuff you're gonna find it quite hard to understand this stuff so this class which is home controller extends abstract controller now this class contains a couple of stuff and a couple of functions that we can use you don't have to worry about this stuff just know that some of the stuff the functions that we're gonna use are are coming from this controller thread that we have right here so as you can see it has a bunch of con uh, of uh, functions like has and get and uh, you know couple of other stuff so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna confuse you with this uh, with this stuff so let me just close that and going back as you can see we have this function right here so this function that you see here is actually called an action so what's an action an action is just some sort of a page so you can call it a page in your web app so this index is actually a page and this stuff this thing that looks like a comment so this actually is an annotation so this is a way of defining the the route so this is called a route and what the route is is just a way so that you can access this page okay so hopefully that's simple enough so this as I said this is an index page let's go ahead and take a look at this so let's go ahead and see what this looks like I'm gonna open up Chrome and uh, as you can see we're gonna head to the local host symphony and the public folder now when I'm gonna hit enter I'm gonna get the index page okay so this is the index page as you can see so as I said if I want to get to this route all I have to do is type slash home so if I go ahead and do it right here it's not going to work and that's because this uh, when I did this when I did public it's actually calling the index so that's how the server works it's, it's actually going by default to look for the index.php file so what it did under the hood is it looked for this and this is actually the main entry point to our system so to our web application so if I want to get to home I have to get through it through the index.php which means I have to do index.php slash home like this and as you can see we have hello home controller and this friendly message is coming from a place now this is what actually rendering the page which is this render home index.html.twig now this is a twig file as i said twig will be covered in a separate video but let's go, but let's go ahead and take a look at the template and see what we have uh, so we have this as you can see this home which which references the folder so this is the home folder if I, if I click that you can see that I have index.html.twig which is this file as you can see our route has this path so this is the path of the route and this is the name and this is useful when we want to generate so let's say for example that we have okay so without so let's go ahead and do something right now so let's create our own action let's do public function just a simple, simple action let's call this uh, let's create something that creates the user so let's uh, do something like hello user and and yeah let's do something like that now as i said we have to define the route so let me just get rid of this stuff and this stuff too okay so let's create our route like this let's give it a path and let's call this uh, hello user so something like that and let's give it also a name and the name is going to be if I can just hit the right keys the name is going to be a low user like that so if I go ahead and try to launch this to to execute this I'm gonna get an error so let me just do that as you can see it says that the controller must return a response a null given so this 
action must return a response. Now this render function is actually a response. I mean, we can go ahead and take a look at the code. So let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So you don't have to worry about this stuff. I'm just trying to show you the source code of this stuff. So you don't, okay, it seems like Sublime stopped working. Yeah, that's, uh, that's perfect. Okay, so I'm back. It seems like something bad happened to, to Sublime. It's actually crashed. But we are actually back, so let's go ahead and take a look at the tree that I was talking about. So that and the render function and... It, so I'm not really sure what it's actually doing. So the render function and it keeps crashing. What the fuck is going on? No, I don't want to change that. I just want to see, take a look at the file. Okay, as you can see, the response that we are returning here is actually an instance of response. So that's why this is working. You don't have to worry about this code, I just want to show you that. So let's go back to the controller and let's return a response. So what we're going to do actually is we, yeah, let's just go ahead and render on the, another page like this. We don't have to worry about too big right now, so we're just going to do that. Let's call it grid. Uh, yeah, let's do read.html.twig. Let's do that. And let's go here and do return and this. Let's render. Okay, I'm not really sure. Okay, so like that, let's reference the folder which is home and the greet dot html.twig so if I can just type html correctly and twig like that okay so folks uh, let me just check if I have some yeah let's put something in the file so let's do something like uh, hello user okay like that now if I go ahead and refresh this as you can see we have hello user okay let's push this a little further and let's say that we want to display the name of some user so in that user that user is going to be a parameter in here so for example i want to display the name of my youtube channel and do something like this so instead i want to get okay so let me just go back i want to get hello overseas media or whatever so to do that we actually have to change our route so this needs to be something like this so this is a parameter everything inside curly braces is a parameter so this is going to be like name like that so how do i get this name in here so we can actually do two uh, we can actually do that in two separate ways we can use the request we're going to talk about the request in a second or we can actually get it from here by doing something like this name now usually the first parameter of an action is actually a request so let's go ahead and inject that in here and the request is something that contains as you can guess the information about the request so the information like uh, the posts parameters the get e, the name of the the client uh, address ip and the whole other stuff that you can get so let's go ahead and import this request which lives inside the http foundation this namespace so let's go ahead and import this and let's use that get a symphony and request like that now as i said we can do two things we can either get the name using this way in here or we can get it through the request we can do something like name okay this is not a comment name I can just spell that correctly and I can go request and I can get the name from the request like that so how do I pass this to the view so I have that but the view doesn't know that I have it so let me just close the request so as you can see it just says hello user okay so the way to do that is you actually the second parameter in the render function is an array of functions uh, of uh, parameters that you pass to the view okay so that's pretty simple it shouldn't be hard to understand that so for example if i want to pass in this name i can do something like name like this and the key is the name of the variable and the value is the variable itself so like name so this is the value of the variable name going back to the html file or the, the twig file 
to to actually render the name you have to do the curly braces like this and name so this curly braces are just a way of saying echo the variable name and that's pretty much it so we're gonna talk as I said, we're going to talk further more about Twig in other video, but now let's just go ahead and see if this is going to work. As you can see, I hit enter and it works. Now we got that through the request. Let's go ahead and get it through the parameter, like the name in here, which I usually use. I don't, I don't think I ever use something like this, the requests, probably when I was just getting started, but I usually just do something like this, like name. And if I go ahead and refresh this, you can see it's going to work and we can have whatever we want here so let's do media let's say overseas media whatever okay so it's working and that's pretty much it for the routes one thing i want to show you about the routes so is that you can you can actually debug those so if i do something like php bin slash console debug the router or router debug you can see that i'm gonna get all the routes that i have in my application as you can see i have the home which is here and i have the hello user which is this route and you can specify another uh, couple of other stuff that you can uh, there are other couple of stuff that you can specify in here for example the method and the and the host or whatever so for example the method you can do something like this so this is only going to be accessible via the post request so the http post it's not going to uh, to be accessible if you use a get or anything like that if you want the get and you have to do something like get if you want them both you can do something like post and that's pretty much it so these are the routes uh, i can go further into details of these but i think that's enough for now maybe in the future we're going to introduce other stuff now in the controller you can basically do whatever you want as i said you can uh, for example in this place you can, for example, create a form and let's, let's do something like this, form and this, let's use some other functions, as you can see, create form from builder, form builder and all other stuff. And we kind of discover this, obviously, in the future. Okay, as I was saying, this is actually how you can create a form and you want to pass this form in, you can do something like we did before so just pass the form that you want and it can be whatever name you want I mean the name is not a problem so and you can do something like the form like that so the forms actually need to be created like something like create view for your passing but we that's, that's just something we're gonna look at in the future when we when we get into twig and we want to do some stuff with that so as I said that's pretty much all I wanted to, co to cover in the controller. One last thing I'm going to throw out there before we end this video is something that you can do in Symfony 4, which is give you, uh, your entire class a prefix. So this, as you can see, is the home controller. What if I want to have like home slash index and this hello user, I want it to be something like home slash hello user. Now I can do something like this, but this is like hard coded in here and it's going to cause some problem if I want to change it later. So if I want to change it, I got, I'm going to have to go through all of this stuff and change them and whatever. So one thing, one nice thing that you can do is you can actually specify a route in here. So I can go route like that and I can do something like, oh, and let's go ahead and prefix the name, of course. As well so just so you can know you can just so you know you can do that so I can do something like home and let's change this to index and let's also change this to index and let's leave everything else as it is and by the way you can have something like uh, an optional parameter so you can have this be either null or it's, it's so it's not required so if I do something like this it's not gonna be required if we go to this and we hit refresh, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna get rid of the form stuff here. Yeah. So if I do something like this, fucking a, okay, so it's either that or that. I don't think. Yeah, that's 
That's just me being fuck ass stupid. Uh, we actually have to change the routes before I can do that, so let me just put this back. It's inside. I'm pretty sure it's inside. So if I if I want to access this hello world or hello user now, I have to do some home slash hello user, and as you can see, we have that. So as I said, this means this uh, this uh, value is optional, so I can go ahead and pass nothing, and it's going to work because this is not required. But if I get rid of that, it's now required and it's going to throw an error. So I think that's pretty much all I wanted to cover for the controller stuff. It's pretty hard to actually build something without including Twig and adoption and all that stuff. But you know, this is just some stuff that you can. This is mainly the controller. So the controller would control the, your routes and all that stuff. You can actually define them in a separate uh, files, but I prefer to keep my stuff in the same file. Annotations are, are blessed, to be honest, and I use them all the time. But that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next video where we're probably going to talk about Twig and we're going to start creating some forms or something.